I have a problem. So as you can see, actually you can't really see, let me get my spyglass out for a second here. If you look at my base on the map, you'll notice something's missing. Right in the center around here there's nothing. I have my hut over here, the horse stable, the big hole, and the cantina, but there's nothing in the center, and it's kind of strange. And for a while now, I've wanted to build some sort of, like, archer tower kind of thing, like a lookout tower, so to speak. So we're going to do that for the first part of today's video. And the second part, I'm going to do another nice thing for Josh. Uh, because I am still waiting for him to prank me back. So, Josh, if you're watching this, prank me back, dude. I need to be able to prank you again, but I won't until you prank me. So, uh, yeah. So, when making this lookout tower... A long time ago, I wanted to make it similar to the ones that Josh and I made around his castle. If you remember that one with the snow golems that uh, deflected everything, or not deflected everything, that uh, fired fireballs uh, over at any mob that passed by. Unfortunately, you can't have those in the desert, which I didn't realize until I had, had tried it shortly thereafter. So instead, I decided we'd just go for a more casual-looking uh, lookout tower, one that can actually go in the desert. So, wow. Daylight is quickly fading, so I need to do this as quickly as I can. So I was thinking we make this look a little more interesting-looking, like more bulky than the other stuff. Oftentimes when I make a tower of some sort, it's usually like very thin and narrow, lacking detail, but I thought for this one we'd try and... Uh, fix that a little bit. My goal here is to have about an equal amount of sandstone and an equal amount of wood. So, how is this looking? This is looking pretty good. I'd say this is looking pretty good. I think what we could do, we could go... Uh, I don't have any crafting tables nearby. If we go one step up and we make slabs out of this sandstone and we wrap it around like this. That looks pretty good. I'm not sure how I feel about it just yet. We'll see. Oh, but wait, I also need to make a way to get up. Yeah, that's kind of important. I kind of need a way to get up inside of the thing. So I, there can only be one access point. Since I come up over here, I think I'll just make the access point right here. This seems like the most likely place where I would put it. Right there. Perfect. Okay, I got to do this now very carefully. And if any mob comes by, especially a creeper like that, if they come over here and blow this thing up, I will probably cry. So, we come up here, like this. Oh, wait, no, not quite like this. Now, I don't know how I'm going to make it transition into the thing itself. Maybe if I do some sort of stairs? Like a set of stairs? Hold on. Let's experiment for a second. I'm, I'm feeling a little risky here. We're gonna, we're gonna give this a shot. All right, hold on. Actually, I want some dirt. Oh, and I'm ro I'm low on logs already. There's plenty of slabs. I'm hearing a husk. Where? Oh, there he is. Hi. Now you can't get in. Haha. -ha, he can't get in. He's stuck. He is very stuck. Imagine being a loser. Can't get in. See? Oh no. Okay, he got in. Never mind. Perfect. Okay. Then we take these. Actually, wait. No, that won't work. Hold on. That won't work. How do I do this so that it... W oh, wait. I probably just have to do slabs again. I am an idiot. But that's okay. <laughs> it's not okay. Now that I think about it, you guys probably don't want to hear about uh, the way that I'm going to build this. So I'll talk about something different in the meantime. So, as you know, Thanksgiving is fast approaching. In fact, it is this week. I'm not sure when I'm uploading this, but it is this week. And here's the thing. I promised that I would release the Dragon Fight episode sometime coming soon. So, the plan is to fight the Ender Dragon uh, Wednesday the 24th, I believe it is. I think it's the 24th. Um, and then uploading it as quickly as I can after that. Once I upload that video, then we will be able to get an Elytra and all that other fun stuff. So... Now, unfortunately, there will be at least one person that will not be able to partake in the fight. Like I said, the whole reason why I wanted to wait till Thanksgiving was so that everybody could participate, but it doesn't look like everyone 
will be able to. So that is kind of unfortunate. It looks like it will be Liam that is not able to. Um, but Josh and Nathan and I should be able to fight it. But I told Liam, hey, the egg is always going to be there, so we can always resurrect the dragon and fight it again. You know, if we really want to, we could do that. Now the last step is to put some stairs here at the top. I have to figure out how I'm going to do this. This is a little bit more of a technical process. What if I do th that? No, wait, that. That? No. That. No. That. Yeah, there we go. Ah, hello. Hello. What are we doing here today? Oh, there's one behind me. Oh, goodness. Wait, this is perfect. There's something that I want to do. There's something that I really want to do, but I can't really let you guys in on the secret. There we go. As you can see, I have the bad omen effect for an unlimited amount of time. And there's a reason why I really want that. But I won't tell you guys today. I can't tell you that today. That'll be for a future video. Ta-da! And that's the top. Oh, now I'm falling. All right, we can get rid of these. Now, we have to make a way that can actually let us go up into the lookout tower, of course. So I was just thinking trap doors with ladders. Fun fact, you can actually put ladders on trap doors. I will show you. So if I go like this, put those trapdoors there, and then I take a ladder, and I go something like this, as you can see, it goes on perfectly. But now I've realized a problem. Problem fixed. Then we go like this, like that, and it covers up the one side, and we can just go boom, 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 and two right there. And then we're up, just like that. As you can see, it is a flawless system, and I can get up and down with ease, looking out wherever I please. Look at that, I can even rhyme. But now we just need some light up here. Um, I didn't actually think about this too well. Oh yeah, we can just do that. There we go, torches! And now I can look out across my area, and it looks beautiful, if I do say so myself. That is our watchtower. It's kind of fun, kind of simple, but at the same time, I'm pretty proud of it. It almost looks like a pillager outpost. The other thing that I wanted to get done today is a gift for Josh. A while ago, he and I had talked about uh, when he was first making his castle. One thing that he really wanted to do was make a drawbridge. Now, unfortunately, nothing can move like a drawbridge in Minecraft, but we can make a retracting drawbridge, kind of like slides one way and then slides the other way, something like that. Now. That is beyond my redstone genius, so I'm going to have to do a little bit of uh, YouTubing, YouTube searching to find the answer. But I am going to basically surprise Josh with this. Uh, I, I might get his reaction. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to, but I'm hoping that he likes it. So first things first, I need to figure out how to do it. And next I have to collect the resources and then we'll build it. So here we go. Now, I was not able to make the retracting one like I had hoped that I could, uh, but that is simply because I would need a lot of slime blocks and a lot of honey blocks, to which I have none of either. So, ah, okay. So instead, I decided to go with this design, which is an oldie, but a goodie. So here's how this works. I'm going to be putting sticky pistons. I was able to get more slime balls, but I put sticky pistons on either side like this. Now I have to do that to, to both sides. And now that I think about it, I'm gonna have to completely redo Josh's bridge in order for this thing to work properly. So, Josh, I'm sorry if this kills the aesthetic that you were going for. Um, this is just the easiest way to make you a super cool bridge. Okay, so as I was trying to say, I, I've kind of destroyed his bridge here, but we go like this, and we go like this, and we go like this. Now this is one of the simplest designs in the book. You just go on top like so. You take some tripwire hooks and some string. And you put these tripwire hooks on top. Just like 
this, because you don't want anyone to see them. And you're going to attach these hooks oops, like that. And this is where the cool part comes in. Never mind, I did that entirely wrong. We do not have to destroy Josh's uh, thing at all. As I was saying, we put it down like this. Yeah, that's what I meant to do this whole time. And you kind of just continue this process. And then you put the tripwire hooks on. Just like that. And then you attach everything with some string. Once you have the string all hooked up, it will activate. And you're basically going to put a block on each one. Okay? So basically it will go like this. So I'll take this. And I'll put it here. And I can just walk across. Just like that. And I'll put one right there. Oh, no. Okay, I forgot that that was a thing. All right. Give me one second. Just like that. That's why it didn't work. So now if I walk across, it works flawlessly. I think you have to walk. You can't run. It's perfect. Now, the only question I have is how am I supposed to hide this? Remember that thing where I said I would not have to make Josh's... Uh, bridge any wider I I lied about that I I do have to make his bridge wider um so yeah this is kind of awkward so you hook it up like that and then when I step on it there we go now we do this and we do this we do this we do this and this and this and this and this now it does the double thing that I, it didn't do for me before so now I can walk across. I might have to go a little slow, but that's okay. Anyways, all I have to do is this, and we will do it in a time lapse of sorts. So, if I can stop falling, let's go! Okay, here we have it. So now, you simply walk across. Why does this block keep disappearing? Stay there. Okay, so you just walk across, and all is simple. Now, obviously, you can see the tripwire hooks from a mile away. I'm going to see if I can, like, disguise those and cover them up. That way, it's not as obvious. But you just walk across. It keeps. Why does it keep removing this block? Oh, there's still a piston under there. That's why. Alright, go away, Piston. We don't like you anymore. There we go. Alright, now it's gone. Alright, so you basically just walk through, nice and simple, and same thing over here. It's a flawless system. It's wonderful. So now, what it looks like is that there's holes in Josh's bridge, but all he has to do is just stand here and walk right across, and it's as easy as can be. I think that is super cool. I'm going to try and surprise him with it later, uh, so... If the video is about to end, then that means that he's not going to react to it. But if it's not about to end, then I'm going to surprise him with it. But yes, thank you guys so much for watching this video. It has been fun. The next episode will be fighting the dragon, or at least it should be. And until then, I'll see you next time.